Calling on my name, she call me daddy I don't do no chasing for a baddie Yeah, these niggas ain't hit me from the past Sally We back with it. What's poppin'? My name's Caesar. Welcome to Season Stunt Talk. Let's get into it. You seen the fucking title? The harsh truth about being good looking. The harsh truth about being a good looking stud. <sighs> Many people think it's just fucking glitz and gold. Hold up, cause this dog really about to piss me off. Hold up, bro. Many people think that shit is just fucking glitz and gold. Shits and giggles. It's lit. It's lit being good looking. You know, you get all the, all the prayers, all the benefits, all this, all that. Nah, there's some bullshit that happens. So, in terms of dating, let me tell you. Let me tell you some of them, some of them downsides. Number one, all right, people automatically assume that you're a player like listen girls will literally tell me oh i know you have a million hoes they, they just think off rip that i only want one thing and that i don't have the capacity to be loyal right they think i'm disloyal just based off of how i look how i dress you feel me before even getting to know me for real and this is something that happens all the fucking time bro Females will literally be skeptical about giving me a chance because they think I'm gonna play them, right? And before I get too far into the video, let me tell y'all something real quick, okay? What is the true definition of a player? Because I hear different opinions on what a player is, what a player isn't. Let me tell you what a real player is, all right? A player is somebody that is selfish, somebody that lies to get what they want, a player is somebody that sells dreams, right? A player is somebody that doesn't give a fuck about anybody's emotions. A player is somebody that is not me, you feel me? Because at the end of the day, keeping it player and being a player are two different things. The way you keep it player is by not lying to get what you want. You keep it player by being honest about your intentions. You keep it player by not just telling a girl what she wants to hear just because you want some coochie. What? You keep it player by not selling a girl a dream about how you're going to treat her and some type of person that you are and you're not putting up a front, you're not acting like something you're not just for some coochie. No, I don't do none of that. So I ain't no fucking player. A player is not somebody that gets coochie. There's a misconception that a player is somebody that gets a lot of female or male attract male attention. You feel me? Just cause you got a bunch of girls looking at you, a bunch of guys looking at you, that don't mean you a player. It's what you do with that. Just cause, you know what I'm saying, you might you might smash them. That don't mean you a player. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Because I know the fans, I know the fans going to come for me. But listen, being a player is when, let's say I have all this female attention and then I say, you know what? I'm going to make these girls think that I really like them. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to take them on dates. I'm going to talk all this good game, right? And then I'm going to smash and I'm going to leave. That's a fucking player. That's a bitch right there, actually, right? But if you get attention and you're honest about your intentions, you're not no fucking player, bro. So at the end of the day, nobody, like, a real genuine person isn't going out of their way to hurt people. Players go out of their way to hurt people. They just don't care, you know what I'm saying? They move shysty and they disregard the feelings of others. But just because you get a lot of female attention or, like, male attention, that does not mean you're a fucking player off rip. That just means you're attractive. You feel me? So that's what I'm saying. Like, people think just because you're attractive, you're a player and that you're on bullshit and that you're immature. That's not the case. That's not the case. That's not the case. I'm a real nigga. Or should I say I'm a real bitch. So 
yeah, I'm, I'm not about to lie to you for no coochie. I'm not about to lie to you for you to stay in my life. I'm not about to lie to you for nothing. I'm honest. I don't like to deceive people. Mm-mm, not my forte. All right, so that's the first thing. People think you're a player, and for that reason, they either don't want to take you serious or they just assume that, you know, you're, you're not going to take them serious. Therefore, they don't really put their all into building something serious <laughs> like all right another downside to being good looking as a stud from my pov is that you get a lot of people that are jealous and that are in competition with you even though you're not in competition with them what do i mean by this i'm chill as fuck right i can only speak from my experience but i'm sure a lot of y'all can relate i'm chill i don't like drama i don't like problems like, I may come off as somebody who's cocky when I talk about myself, right? I talk about myself, I say I'm sexy, I'm smart, I'm this, I'm that, I'm that nigga, I'm that girl. Yeah, I say that off camera. You know, this ain't for the camera. This is my real personality. I am that dude. But I do not project that energy onto other people in a way where I'm belittling them. So if I'm talking to another stud right now, Right, like let's say I'm having a conversation with another stud, I could still think in my head like I'm that nigga, but I'm not gonna be like, oh, and compared to you, bro, I'm that nigga. Like I get more bitches, I get more money, like I'm better looking. I'm not, I'm never comparing. You know what I'm saying? And I'm never trying to tear nobody down, right? So my energy and my confidence it radiates, yes, but I'm not projecting negative energy onto nobody. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being me. I'm just being cool. You feel me? Nobody could ever say that I tried to belittle them or little girl them or act like I'm way better than somebody else because genuinely that's not my personality as it pertains to communicating with other people. You feel me? But people will think just because I'm good looking that I'm like that, that I'm Hollywood, right? And they'll create like these fake beefs in their head of like, oh, they want to be better than me or I want to be better than them. And we can't just be cool. Like, it don't gotta be a competition, bro. We, th there's enough bitches out here for everybody. There's enough money out here for everybody, bro. Why can't we be cool? And that's why in the stud community, so many people say, yo, it's hard to make friends, right? It's hard to make friends because everybody's in competition. Like, all these studs think I'm gonna try to take their girl. They think that I think I'm better than them. But it's really coming from a place of jealousy and, you know, low self-esteem. Because if I see a fly-ass stud, bro, I don't even think I could say no homo because that doesn't really work in this context. But if I see a, a sexy-ass stud, and mind you, I'm not into studs like that. But if I see a sexy stud, I'm like, yo, that stud, they can dress, they haircut cool. Like, they sweet. That stud is cute. I'm not thinking, oh, my God, like, fuck. I got competition in the room, like, oh, what the fuck? Like, I got to hold my girl close, like, oh, oh, they talking to my friends? Nah, nah. No, bro, I'm thinking, yeah, we should be homies, bro. We wanted the same. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of other studs, they would think, like what I just said, they'd be fucking, like, envious, jealous. They'd come with negative-ass energy. And that's just not fucking cool, bro. So when you're good-looking, you get a lot of that negative energy, and a lot of people that assume that you're also the negative energy. When it's not the case, bro, I don't got no problems with nobody in the city or nothing because I'm just not that person. You feel me? But people assume I'm that person before they get to know me. Which is brazy because I'm not that bitch. I'm not. I'm not that hoe. I'm not. If I think about the number three like downside the harsh reality the harsh truth about being good looking i would say that you know there's two there's two ends to the spectrum right there's the side where it's like oh a girl gonna automatically think i'm a player or two a girl gonna automatically put me into the girlfriend category so what does that mean they could be fucking with people right and they don't really take them serious you know they don't really care about them, but they meet me and they're like, okay, I want you 
to be my girl. I want you to do all this extra shit. I want you to wait for the coochie. I want you, like they just try to make me do the most to make them feel like I really, really genuinely like them. It's like they have to prove it to themselves that that they deserve me or something, that, that I've earned them or something. They automatically put me into the girlfriend category. I don't know if I'm going to be explaining this like in a way that makes sense, but I'm going to try my best. So a girl will meet me and she think, okay, I'm not just going to smash you, right? When they meet a good looking person, they always want to keep you. Why is that a problem? That's not always a problem. If you're looking for something serious, that's not a problem. But if you just want to have fun, and if you're someone that's seri- that's like honest about your intentions, then it's, it's almost like they try to trap you a little bit. So I'm honest about my intentions. If I just want to have fun, you gonna know that, okay? So let's say I go into a situation just wanting to have fun, and a girl, if it was anybody else or somebody that she didn't find that attractive but was cute enough, she'd be like, okay, cool, we could just have fun. But because she might find me super attractive, it's like, oh, yeah, I heard you. I know that you told me you just want to have fun, but no, I, I want something serious. I want to cuff you up. I want to keep you. You know what I'm saying? And that's a problem when it's like, nah, because I told you what it was and I told you what the fuck it's not going to be. So... For you to be forcing this on me is kind of like, yeah, nah, it's it's not a fun time, you feel me? So they automatically put me into the girlfriend category. It's like either way, the two sides of the spectrum is they treat you in a way that you don't want to be treated, if that makes sense. If you're only looking for fun, they kind of don't want to allow you to have that. And that's why I hear a lot of girls often talking about not only studs, but men right? Like straight women or bi women, they talk about how they meet a player, they meet a guy, they meet a girl, and they try to change them, right? They know that the person doesn't take them serious, but they still stay and kind of hope for a relationship over time. Why? Because that person's really attractive. They value that person to the max, even though they know that the person Not to say they don't value them at all, but they don't want the same things. Y'all are not on the same wavelength in terms of intentions and the end game of your relationship, right? Prime example, uh, a guy just wants to be friends with benefits, the girl wants a relationship. And she stays because she's like, you know what? I can change you, right? I can make this work. It's the same thing I'm talking about, right? They just kind of force that onto you. Even when you're super honest and upfront about it, it's like they just don't fucking take no for an answer. All right, so that would be my third one. Let me see. Let me see if I can think of like a fourth one real quick. Okay, number four, and this is the last one. It kind of ties into number two, but people just expect you to be something that you're not. And it it ties in with everything, but this one I'm talking like personality wise. So a lot of people that are good looking, unfortunately, they tend to, you know, radiate such an energy where. They radiate a certain type of arrogance where they genuinely think they're better than everybody else. They think they're better than everybody else. So they move Hollywood. They act like normal people are fucking peasants. They act like if you're not as good looking as them or if they don't perceive you as like as good looking as them, they treat you like you're like you're a weirdo, like like you're not good enough to kick it with them or some shit. Like they're not humble at all. And people assume that I'm as superficial as those people. It's like, yo, I'm a real person, bro. I'm a real person. I feel like a lot of people that that are good looking, that treat people like trash just for the fuck of it, they low key, not even low key, they high key, have low self-esteem. Because by you treating people disrespectfully, you're inevitably showcasing your low self-esteem because you need to tear other people down to make yourself feel better and even though like there's good looking people that are like that basically for the simple reason that social media has gassed their head they might be social media famous you know what i'm saying famous on tiktok instagram whatever and they think they're better they think they're better i'm not like that so when people actually talk to me right And when I say talk to me, I mean 
talk to me, get to know me, potentially get close to me, they realize I'm intelligent, I can hold a conversation, and I'm not superficial at all, and I'm also humble, you feel me? And it sucks that people assume or they associate, you know, arrogance and being an asshole with good looking people just because we look good like i get it there's a few fucking bad apples in the bunch that ruined it for the rest of us but it's like damn damn don't know what i'm saying i'm humble yeah but they expect me to be something someone i'm not they expect me to be an asshole they expect me to be a player they expect me to be stuck up they expect me to be bougie they expect me to be hollywood they expect me to be stupid they expect me to be superficial and it's like if you would only give me a chance to show you that i'm just me i'm just me but i'm gonna leave that at that bro uh yeah those are my harsh realities of being an attractive person being an attractive stud like that's that bro thank you for tuning in Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Season out.